it's holiday season and it's, this is a season when it doesn't matter you will travel mm-hmm. you will definitely travel and there'll be very many people who will be traveling and they are not obeying the law of Kenya of Kenya of traffic because some people will decide ni sherehe tumetoka hapa kwa nani look at men that got me to an auntie and they are kunywa kitu now tunarudi nyumbani na hii gari najua nyumbani na gari najua nyumbani oh then they are driving while intoxicated then you are there you are following the law tunakumalika anaenda zigzag you know that's what we want to talk about road safety in this period because you've seen statistically that what happens during this period of uh, christmas and festivities we see an increase in road accidents and the traffic police department have basically saying eh, you know what let's people let's think we have in the studio with us the boss of the traffic police department traffic commandant mary wangoyo mari and the officer in charge of road safety in the traffic police department peter odiambo good morning Good morning. Good morning. morning. Karibuni sana to the hot seat of Kenya's biggest conversation. <laughs> Thank you. Madam Mamba gani? Ah, well, mambo ni mzuri kabisa. Very good. Yes. Madam, yes. unajua sifa ya media inakuwa mbaya. Yes. Hii media si ile. <laughs> Hii ni ile mzuri. <laughs> <laughs> Asante sana. Thank you for the assurance. Yes. <laughs> Karibuni sana. Asante. We're going to have a conversation about road safety yeah. and um, of course uh, Bono Diembo you are in charge of road safety we'll have to seek to understand what that exactly means. But to welcome you to the conversation. Yes. Every day we have a proverb from an African country. So city goes to one of the African countries picks proverbs from that country and gives us a new proverb every day. So you listen to the proverb and then you'll tell us what your interpretation of that proverb. City? Mm. Yes, our where pro- are we this week? We are in the Republic of Djibouti, mm-hmm. whose capital city is Djibouti. Mm-hmm. And they have a huge population of 1 million people only. <laughs> <laughs> in that Talk. city. Which or in the country. The country. In the entire country. Country One All million. of them are one million. It's exactly. Okay. So, <laughs> <clears throat> something like to ponder. CBD. Like, okay. It's like CBD of Nairobi. <laughs> 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 right. Uh-huh. The proverb of the day. A dog does not mind being called a dog. A dog does not mind being called a dog. A dog. A dog. E- Madam Commandant, <laughs> what's your interpretation of this proverb? <laughs> <laughs> um, you should accept who you are. Mm. Yeah, know yourself and accept yourself. Mm. Yes. Kubali. Mm. Believe you. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. What are the number what's yours? <laughs> yes. Uh, um First of all, does it know it's being called a dog? Because there's also another proverb that says yeah. that if you want to give a dog a bad name if you want to kill a dog give it a bad name mm. so i don't know if that the word name dog is necessarily a bad name mm. i would only accept if it it's a good name if it's a good name then yes <laughs> well, does the dog know that it is a dog? it's a, it's being called a dog not that it's a dog that mm. it's being called a dog because maybe if you were to ask it maybe say my name sorry. i am a lion <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. if in the opinion of a dog yes. it's a lion yes. then it would mind being called, being a, called dog. a dog yeah. well th- there's evidence to support that view <laughs> there are people who call their dogs simba <laughs> and the dog responds yes. what i'd like to know is are there people who call their lo- their dog umbua uh, umbua could you have? Uh, have you no yes you know uh, the word for umbua in kimasai is enkuchi okay okay, okay. And the people who call the dog kuche 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 and it comes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's only the Masai's. <laughs> you will not hear you say gui gui. gui. <laughs> <laughs> it will not come. <laughs> But Mary, yes. introduce us to the traffic police department. We know we know traffic. Yes. But you know, you are the traffic commandant. Yes. What is this traffic department? Uh, the traffic department is a department in the Kenya Police Service which is, which is charged with the functions of um, providing free flow of traffic, 
preventing occurrence of accidents, investigation of accidents, sensitizing members of public on uh, road safety awareness, and um, also uh, assisting members of public when it comes to traffic matters. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you across the country? Yes, I can say we are across the country, but now the commandant traffic has different roles. Mm. Yeah, there before we used to do enforcement of all traffic laws, mm. regulations, uh, traffic laws and regulations. But nowadays at the traffic headquarters, which mm. is along Tika Road, Ruaraka, we do uh, collection of uh, accident uh, statistics. We do public sensitization on road safety and um, also advising on uh, traffic matters mm -hmm. across the country. So basically, that is what the commandant traffic does. Uh, enforcement of traffic laws was devolved to the county commanders, mm -hmm. to the county level. Mm -hmm. You find that now traffic officers are other respective or uh, OCSs or officer commanding stations. Mm -hmm. So they are not directly answerable to the commandant of traffic department. Oh, so they are answerable now to the officer commanding that station or officer commanding that police division. Yes, or, or county. county yes. Like that. Yes. What do you call the senior officer at county level? The senior traffic officer at county level? Is uh, there a rank? Uh, or is the, the senior is, of course, the county police commander yes but in charge of traffic is there we don't have an in charge of traffic at the county level mm. you will find an in charge of traffic at the regional level mm. yes we call them regional traffic enforcement officers do they yeah. all then fall under you here then in nairobi or are there uh, no. other how does that hierarchy work the other commandants then in or is there one central then under them no it, the, the tra traffic of uh management of traffic was devolved yes. to counties mm. so they are not answerable to me okay. but i have units which are directly under me i have the uh, northern corridor yeah. uh, transit police unit they are the these are the officers who take care of transit goods from mombasa to malaba mm -hmm. and then we also have the Axel Road Enforcement Unit. These are the officers attached to the way bridges. We have 11 way bridges across the country. Mm. The officers you see assisting uh, uh, way bridge management yeah. to direct vehicles to be weighed. These are officers under the commandant traffic. Then we also have officers attached to the government vehicle check unit. The uh, other is called GVCU. Mm. So these are the units Adami, and I also have a branch which deals with road safety, and that is where Mr. Odiabo is attached. Mm. And basically, we do collect accident data, accident and enforcement data from across the country, which we uh, uh, collect and disseminate to relevant government agencies which require that data. I see. Yes. Abono Odiabo. Yes. In charge of road safety. Yes. What is is it road safety? Is it safety off the road or safety on the road? Mm -hmm. I, I'd um I'd go with safety on the road. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we want to ensure that as Kennedy Lightif drives from home to work, he's safe mm -hmm. and he gets back home safe. Uh we want to ensure he arrives alive and and he he follows the traffic act. So, and, and the highway code. So, I would go with safety on the road. By the, by the road user? Yes. All road users? All road users. Now, let's also define the road users. Who are road users? Road users mm -hmm. are all drivers, mm -hmm. pedestrians, surprisingly, even animals. Because now you'll see people from Mr. Latif's <laughs> community, yes, are bringing their, their, their livestock on the road. So everybody who uses the road, mm -hmm. irrespective of whether they're driving, they're, they're using a motorized uh, vehicle, mm. or, 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 or they're cycling, or they're just crossing the road. Mm. 
Yes. Or feeding on the road. <laughs> or feeding. <laughs> it's yes. an offense to feed on the road. It yeah? is. It <laughs> is. <laughs> yes. yes. You are supposed to take care of your animal. They do mm-hmm. not sure. yes. uh, inter- interfere with the traffic. Yes. That's yes. interesting. Yes. Okay. So, what are some things that we look for mm-hmm. when we're talking about you um, safety? on the roads what are some things that we're saying then if we see one two three it's a conven uh, contravention mm-hmm. of the traffic act and mm-hmm. that will get somebody into a spot of trouble okay. what are some of the things that we're saying you must adhere to one two three that mm-hmm. you then look out for mm-hmm. number one is speed mm-hmm. uh, i when you're driving on the road the, the recommended speed limits okay like if you are driving a personalized car on the dual carriageway you are not supposed to exceed 110 kilometers per hour mm. okay on a single carriageway 100 kilometers per hour you're not supposed to exceed that mm. okay that that is just to mention but two concerning mm. speed it's very detailed yeah. uh if you're a motorcyclist you're supposed to be wearing a helmet mm. okay you're not supposed to carry two passengers okay uh if uh, in case you are to carry two passengers ensure the other passenger is less than 13 years of age okay you're not supposed to carry a passenger and a luggage that's for motorcyclists and and i'm more concerned with that because they are the second leading uh uh fatal victims on mm. the road that is motorcyclists mm. the leading ironically are passengers pe- pe- not, so, not sorry pa- not passengers Pedestrian. but pedestrians mm-hmm. who are not necessarily who've not necessarily been uh, gone to driving school to be de- educated on how to use the road yeah. okay so they, they are the leading fa- n- number of fatalities on the road are pedestrians mm-hmm. so if you are pedestrian are you crossing the road on the designated crossing areas okay uh, when you're walking on the road you walk you know against traffic so that you see oncoming vehicles okay mm-hmm. uh, are you using your phone uh, we see uh, the the generation is it generation z who always have their earphones and mm. their phones on the road mm. okay uh, are you are you ensuring that you know you're using the road uh, as you should use it mm. okay and uh, yes and, and that kind of things as we go there every 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 road user has regulations that they are required to adhere to that requires awareness true whose responsibility is it to create awareness mm-hmm. i'd say this is a shared responsibility uh the police of course are mandated by the law but as a civilian it's your civil duty okay mm. to ensure that i know because it's in the law and and it's in the public domain to know that when i'm using the road this is what i'm supposed to do as a driver you're taken to driving school and you're taught this mm. so uh, even as i come to initiate i'm just emphasizing i'm supposed to build up on what already exists mm. okay not necessarily start from square one so that you as it's your civil duty that when i'm using the road because ironically you find children when you leave your house in the morning you tell your son when you're crossing the road look right look left look right again yes then 80 percent of accident victims are adults not children the children will ironically obey you'll tell them one or two or three things that they're supposed to do when they're crossing the road they will obey that the adults unfortunately they won't further with that statistics Mm. between 70 and 80 percent of accident victims are men (laughs) <laughs> i'll leave that to to further emphasis say, say again <laughs> yes. Re- repeat for, 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 for clarity purposes mm. yes between 70 and 80 percent mm. i know this is of this the music pedi- to your ears of the pedestrian of the, of, of accident victims mm. are men and, and all this is not across necessarily all. just pedestrians we're talking about yeah. car all users as well all, all yes all okay. users mm. okay mm. and and of course uh it's indicative because the the highest number of victims of course that the, the vi- p- pedestrians account for between 36 to 40 <laughs> percent mm. of accident victims of of fatalities mm. so uh, that, that 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 goes to show that are you able to then point to i mean just madam let's talk about this is very interesting but then looking at the cause of this is it non-adherence to traffic rules mm. is it uh, because i guess one of those traffic rules is then one we don't want people driving under the influence of anything mm-hmm. so we're talking about non-adherence to rules carelessness on the roads what can be attributed to these accidents because i think if we look at that then you'll be able to know then how to curtail uh, some of these and reduce on the numbers isn't okay. it okay thank mm-hmm. you madam for that question um 
research has shown that 86 percent of accidents are caused by human error okay. human error and as mr odiabo has put it 36 percent of these accidents involve pedestrians mm. so it is just our behavior on the road pedestrians Clo uh, crossing the roads mm -hmm. as at undesignated undis areas mm -hmm. and uh, you have seen areas where we have foot bridges why don't they want to use foot bridges we have areas where mm -hmm. the designated and you find a person alighting from a, a, a bus or a matatu mm -hmm. and they cross the road immediately they are not taking due care of themselves mm -hmm. and again we have seen a new trend where people are now wearing the earphones ear pods mm -hmm. and um they 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 are not taking care of themselves while crossing the road even when somebody hoots you are not able to hear and we have had uh, to take bodies to the mortuary and when during post mortem you find that this person has ear pods so this these are some of the things we and somebody crossing the roads at night mm. and you are not wearing visible uh, clothes mm. the clothes you are, you are wearing are dark so it's not possible for mm. somebody to see you see. and again how are our roads the design of our roads are they well lit at night mm. sometimes you find somebody crosses the road and you just miss narrowly mm. to hit that person because our roads are not well lit mm. and again now when it comes to drivers especially as mr Odiabu has said male <laughs> mm. <laughs> road users are the ones who are more vulnerable yeah but, because uh, they are excited by speed i dare <clears> say so mm. they are excited by speed yeah. and another thing which also causes accidents is fatigue mm. you're tired you still have to 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 drive especially to men they don't trust their women to drive them I can say so even my husband he will not trust me to you to drive him commander. <laughs> the commander. No, 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 no. they you don't know, trust I'm a, us i'm a provider <laughs> i am provider of transport services i yes. have a provider of a home so you are the one to drive but you know women are more careful they True. are more careful but they don't uh, like careful. driving we drive <laughs> <laughs> they say that women do not drive they move vehicles but i disagree so the speed speed is the lead uh, the leading so cause this is actually the killer mm. <laughs> yes <Okay. laughs> cause of accidents yeah. so and and another thing is uh, you don't plan your journey you wake up today in the morning you say i have to drive to mombasa and you had not planned that journey well you did not sleep well sometimes you're not feeling well so those are some of the factors which contribute to uh, accidents mm. there are things which are within us why do you want to 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 drive and use your cell phone you're distracted failing to observe lane discipline you want to overtake you know you see there's an oncoming vehicle you do not want to know the, how the speed you cannot uh, judge the speed at which it, it's coming yeah and um, again when you are under the influence of drink or drugs mm. your judgment is impaired you may not you're not able to drive that vehicle effectively mm. yes you know let's just call it what it, it's just bad manners bad okay? manners yes. there's a lot of bad manners on by road users yes on very many things and it just become it's a product of impunity it's impunity because you did it once you got away with it mm. or other factors have led you to it but i'd like also to uh, put it to you that as you say 80 plus 86 percent of accidents are attributed to human error mm. i'd like to counter that by saying i think there's a high percentage of road accidents that are caused by infrastructure yeah. design maintenance of infrastructure in very many ways yeah that you have roads that you know the way they were designed will lead to an accident yes. there'll be an accident black why do we have an accident black black spot was that not foreseen in design that you know this would be a sharp corner and what happens at a sharp corner what happens here um why do we have those poorly lit roads at night and they are carrying a lot of traffic why do you have sections of the road that are not well marked so you don't know where the lane begins where the lane ends warning signs we are supposed to have road signs on the road you're saying i'm supposed to observe certain speed limits hmm. so yeah i know thicker super highway is a dual carriageway is a highway 110 is the maximum mm -hmm. but then nakuru mombasa nairobi nakuru 
is what you call it single carriage oh, yeah. it's One. a single carriage eh? mm -hmm. there are parts of it that are highway there are parts of it that are not mm -hmm. but then there's nothing that there are very many areas where there are no signs that show me the speed limit is reducing mm -hmm. from 100 mm -hmm. to 80 mm -hmm. to 60 to 50 to 40 mm -hmm. and so i don't know so i am supposed to observe speed limits but there's no signage that's showing me what the speed limit is at this point that it ends it begins so i'd say a lot of these things infrastructure is a great contributor to road accidents and i think we ought to approach that and accept that as our reality so that those who are in charge of it can do, do something, something about it okay i agree with you mm. i think about 10 percent of accidents are caused by the condition of the road 10 uh, yeah, about 10 to 11 oh. Yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> because you see, even as a driver, mm -hmm. even if the road is in whatever condition, yeah. you are also supposed to to be alert, yeah, to be alert. And if you are driving at a at the right speed, yeah, you will be able to bring your vehicle to an effective stop in case of anything. But again, I agree with you. Some of our roads are not forgiving. A forgiving road is we should uh, is the one we should accommodate. In case of an accident, for example, you find some roads have got hanging, what do we call them? The, the road furniture are not good, the, mm, guardrails, the guardrails, they are protruding. And in case of an accident and you are pushed to that guardrail, you can only imagine what can happen. And again, sometimes you find the, the, the bumps, speed bumps have been erected at night and you are yeah. not aware, they also cause accidents. So some of our roads are not forgiving the designs, uh, but I believe that for uh, any driver to get a, a driving license, you went to a driving school and you were taught the speed limit in Kenya is 100 kilometers per hour mm. on a highway mm. and only 110 in on Dika road, the super highway. Yeah, dual carriage. And when you are approaching a Wait, built up. Thicker road, is it 110? Yes. Du dual carriage. Dual, yeah. dual carriage. Yeah. We only have sure. that. Uh, only as a, on thicker. Dika super highway. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Kenya, yeah. ni and, ni 100 kilometers per hour. But if you are approaching a built up area, you should re reduce your speed to 50 kilometers per hour. True. And then if you are approaching a school, you should, you should do 30 kilometers per hour true so but i need to know that i'm approaching a built-up area don't i <laughs> yeah you, you need to you, you can see <laughs> where does it begin but the warning should be buildings. there should be enough warning but the problem this with thing. kenya is also vandalism vandalism uh, this do sign people know that the limit because we've been on the highways <clears throat> do people know that the limit is 100 kilometers everywhere in Kenya on a highway except the thicker superhighway? Yeah, they know. They know, but no, we just I, still drive like today. maniacs. <laughs> no, but, yeah, seriously but speaking, madam, 100 southern bypass, an hour. southern bypass is 110. I think it was, dual, it was it re was revealed. It's a dual carriage, isn't it? I think um, I don't know if it has been hey. reviewed or something, hey. but uh, it is a super. Sorry, <laughs> dual madam. I know everyone wants carriage. to go on a break, but I just want to ask this question before we come into now festivities. Also yes. with you, Bona Odiambo, mm -hmm. to ask about certain things. Mm -hmm. However, on this note, is it possible to do a re refresher reintroduction mm -hmm. of some of these numbers? Mm -hmm. Because I can guarantee you, mm -hmm. there are many people using the highways today. Who don't know about and who'll be using kilometers. it tomorrow and the day after yes the and don't know year. about this hundred kilometers mm -hmm. and two of two things could happen they could get in an accident mm -hmm. or number two they could get arrested mm -hmm. if having been found you know using and they say what do you mean 100 kilometers i've been driving on this road for 10 years slamming on 120 and above <laughs> yes um when 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 we do a retest, mm. when, when drivers, most of, there was a sample number of drivers that were <coughs> retested, mm. more than 50% failed the retest. Wow. You have a civil duty to want to find out, okay, mm. because it's impossible to take back everybody to back to driving school. True. Mm. So we, we are creating awareness. Yeah. This mm. is one such instance where we are creating awareness. Mm. But in addition to that, seek to know. Mm -hmm. Seek to know so that you interact with this information. It's normally available on yeah. very many of our websites even on the, the ntsa website so and and i'd rather drive on I'd, I'd rather be cautious i'd rather do 80 
arrive even if later I'm allowed a hundred. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, because even if I'm going for Christmas, mm. what is the rush? Chakula itaisha. You will buy some more. When you don't go jail. Mary Wangoyo Mari is Assistant Inspector General of Police. She's a traffic commandant. Peter Odiembo is in charge of road safety at the traffic police headquarters. There are guests. The importance of road safety and looking at, you know, the kind of statistics that we've seen, the traffic headquarters collects that all this data on a daily basis. You're able to tell how many accidents have been reported across the country and the status of those accidents, whether they're fatal, serious injuries, mm -hmm. you know, uh, kind of accident of it was lorry, a passenger vehicle, uh, personal vehicles, saloon, or pastor, no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, pedestrians and all. What's the latest that you have in terms of statistics? Oh, thank you. So far, we have lost 4,026 people. This year? This year. From January 1st? From January 1st to yesterday, mm. which 4, was 4,026. 4,026. Mm. Last year, at such a period, we had lost 4,386. Mm -hmm. Meaning that we have reduced the number of fatally, fatal victims by three, 360, mm. yeah, which translates to 8%. Um, those ones who have been seriously injured are 9,795. Mm -hmm. Last year, same period, we had 9,151, which means that uh, the number has increased by 644, which mm -hmm. translates to 7%. Those are very high numbers. When you think about losing 4,000 people on the road, yeah. Many of these accidents could have been avoided. Yes. Like you've said, over 86% of accidents are attributed to human error. It's accidents that could have been avoided. Things that should have been done by the people on the road, that they didn't do them. Yes. What are you doing to counter that? Yes, we are doing a lot. We are doing what we call the three E's of road safety. We are doing enforcement, and I think that is the language that most Kenyans understand. They need to be arrested, to be taken to court and fined so that they know that it is bad to violate traffic laws. We also do a lot of education, like you have given us an opportunity to do today. And uh, liaising with the relevant government authorities, uh, road authorities like Kenha, Kera, and Kura, to, we alert them on where we have problems on the road. And the information we give them, the data we give them, informs their, or what they're supposed to do. Mm. For example, they mark the black spots using the, the data we give them. But um, you say, it appears like many Kenyans want this enforcement. That's when they'll obey the law. Are you saying that you think Kenyans have a propensity to break the law? Like, you know, it's in our DNA. Sharia, ah, let a, new, let a new no. yeah. <laughs> break it. it. It is a problem and we need to keep talking to our fellow Kenyans because you find that even people board a public service vehicle, a matatu, and they will not fasten their safety belts until they see a police officer. That's when you find somebody struggling to find the one she pick up happy. And you now you wonder, <laughs> is it their lives or am I like a police officer? Yeah. And you will find people doing the wrong speed, over speeding, until when you reach uh, somewhere in uh, Kinungi, mm. Naivasha. You know, you know that the, the cops, uh, are cops are there. But after that, you have to catch make up, up for yeah, yes. catch up and make up for the lost time. So it is about our behavior, our culture, and we really need to change. You know, but um, it isn't even so much lost time. Now I'm speaking as a fast driver. <coughs> it is the thrill of driving fast. Yeah. And depending on the time, sometimes if the road is bad, you really cannot drive fast. Yeah. It's one of the pitfalls of having a good road. Yeah. And if the car permits, and some of these vehicles do permit you to actually drive fast, so one wants to motor. The thing that perhaps we haven't internalized, those of us who use the roads fairly often, 
is why it is that those speed limits are set. We either ignore or we've decided not to pay attention to it. There is a reason why. Mm -hmm. Because one, at the speeds that people like driving at, it is difficult to control a car. Yes. And Should something happen suddenly, you will not be in a position to control that car, okay. much as you may try. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then there is also the simple matter of, call it the mindset. You see, this mindset that we have as Kenyans, the accidents you speak of and the speed we drive at are actually a manifestation of what goes on in our heads, <laughs> especially the men. Why does someone do something which they instinctively understand could put their lives in danger and yet they do it? And then a period when there are very many people on the road, like the period we're going into, they still insist on doing it. Mm. Why am I asking this question? Because I want you to tell us, during these holidays, whether it's Easter or, or December. Or West. Yes. Or Easter East. or December. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, go on. See, East sorry. or West sorry. or North. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Apologize again, please. Sorry. Thank you. Now, what I was saying was, do we see more accidents during these festive seasons? We, yes. We do. Yes. Huh? You know, I don't think, and Peter, you can come, I don't think that we like to break the law. I don't think so. What do you think we like doing, Eric? <laughs> I think this is just a product of culture. Mm -hmm. And the culture here is impunity. Mm -hmm. The culture of impunity, and it comes in very many ways. It mm -hmm. comes in many ways in terms of you are faced with so many obstacles mm -hmm. that you're trying to circumvent those obstacles. Mm -hmm. Obstacle number one is there is likelihood this is December. Mm -hmm. We are in December. Mm -hmm. Hapa Kinungi, Hapa Maimahiu, there is likelihood of traffic. Mm -hmm. So you want to go fast before you traffic Ishika? Mm -hmm. Ishikane. Mm -hmm. the, you know, all those things combined, and then a traffic police officer will stop you. The whole process that they'll take you through, you're thinking, you know what? You will get into it mm -hmm. because of this whole culture of impunity. And the impunity has been had started from top to bottom mm -hmm. it comes from the top mm -hmm. if the guys who are supposed to do the things that they ought to do with the roads have not done the things that they ought to do with the roads mm -hmm. it comes down into those who are enforcing if they're not enforcing properly it comes down into those who are using the road your adults if they've not done mm -hmm. what they ought to do you have learned it you've joined the road my daughter now joining the road i'll be like okay but this is this is how we drive in kenya mm -hmm. recently i was in spain Three weeks, I did not encounter one officer on the road. Mm. And I drove for 5,000 kilometers across south of Spain. Not a single police officer. Mm -hmm. Signs are there, you can see. Drive down 60. And people are observing 60. The car in front of you has gone, and you can see, nobody is overtaking. Everybody is observing this limit. It's mm -hmm. at 60. Mm -hmm. There is a continuous yellow line. Nobody is overtaking. You can see the road is clear but there's a yellow line nobody's mm -hmm. overtaking mm -hmm. it's a culture that they have mm -hmm. and you don't have to have police officers mm -hmm. where there are speed guns they will tell you there is a speed gun not here where somebody is hiding under a bush <laughs> somewhere <laughs> 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 uh, it's a whole culture thing yeah. and we've got to start we've got to deal with culture now yeah. he's a behavioral scientist yes. he'll tell us how we can address this culture yeah. I don't think that we were born to break the law in this country mm -hmm. we were not taught to break the law in school mm -hmm. we were not brought up to break the, the law by our parents mm -hmm. actually the reason why impunity thrives is mm -hmm. because we have options mm -hmm. and the options are you our colleagues yeah. because i can bribe one of you yeah. i can convince you to receive money yeah. instead of making me pay the full penalty for my mistake yeah. mm -hmm. and i know that option exists yeah. so the inconvenience of being taken to court can be circumvented and so long as i know it can be circumvented mm -hmm. it's like i am prepared for it i can negotiate mm -hmm. now since the negotiation is there is it possible for us to just make it law so that we are told yeah. Yes. Instant if, fine. Yeah, no, just not just instant <laughs> fine. If you are doing this speed and this speed, mm -hmm. these are the options available to you. Mm -hmm. And 
Whether you have police officers, there's also a sign. Mm. Call it a pay bill <laughs> number. Call it, you know, no, no, hapo, hapo. We don't have to worry too much about <laughs> you bothering so you need to come to court and what have you. If you can't, then you're going that way. And it okay. can be done, isn't it? This yes, man. but this is not instant fine. No, no, but that's instant it is right. instant. Now, I haven't finished my, dis my discourse. Right. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So as to incentivize the police officer mm -hmm. to uh, also ensure that they get the maximum possible fine for this person. Mm -hmm. An arrangement is made that if you collect above this, collect and it goes to the police, on that same day so also, a target. Uh, yes, at a way, way, your 10, 20% comes to you directly. So the issue of me arranging a deal the police officer is Out. reduced completely because they're going to get the money if, if they charge you mm -hmm. they'll get theirs directly <coughs> now i'm giving that as an example my thinking because so I bribe the police to collect no you do not no. you will reduce the element of bribery because the police is incentivized to collect as much money as possible mm -hmm. because they will also get their percentage from the government from because they are holding you for something that you've actually you've done actually done contravention uh, of uh, the uh, law. Makosa, my <coughs> friend like, there like, will be takataka taka inside it, your car. It, your car is dirty. <laughs> and it's a crime. In, 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 addition, it's a crime. in addition, I think uh, we, we, it's, a good, it's a good thing we have a behavioral scientist. Mm. One of our bad cultures mm. is that we normally point a finger. Mm. I yeah. speed yeah. Yeah. cause an accident. Yes. Then it's the it's it's the mistake. It's a police, the police. who I can bribe. Mm. It's it's a person who's supposed to be to you know to be constructing this road properly. Mm. It is not me. It mm. is never me. It is never my fault. Yeah. See, but it's, it's, it's everybody it's else's fault because be because prevented. these All accidents mm. are not being caused by police, mm. and it's not the issue. Nobody likes paying a bribe because it means parting uh, parting with money. Yeah. Having said that. These are all I'm issues. Not sure in, in, in the, <laughs> <laughs> these are independent issues. Yeah. Yeah. Corruption is an issue mm -hmm. that we need to deal with. Yeah. And, and we, we, are, we, are, we are looking at it and putting in place measures to deal with it. Mm. We have road traffic accidents, which is also an issue, mm. and we want to deal with it. Mm. So there's an issue with our behavior and culture. It, it, it goes, it's, it's deeper. Because mm. like, for example, you are allowed to do one <clears> ten <throat> along Thika Superhighway. But now we have people who have encroached, people who have bought land, you know, yeah. uh, what, what do you call it? <laughs> uh, you know, they, they've gone and bought plots and settled there. Mm. So initially it was intended to be a super highway. Mm. But now people have on yeah, the road have settled yeah, there. Now that people have settled there, now we have to again now, const you know, uh, construct uh, foot bridges. We have to, to, to put uh, zebra crossings on the road, which was not the initial, which, which was not in the initial design. And that is Including the fault bumps. of the designer. The mm. fault of the design. Those are the things that as a designer you foresee. It, this is going so to lot if it is this. never your fault <laughs> you can never foresee such things what they designer. do is just to construct the road and then see what happens later and then put interventions yes. in place like for example as if, as yeah, okay <laughs> <laughs> for example now if people have encroached what how do you deal with that problem mm -hmm. put speed bumps yeah or the speed calmers put um uh, foot bridges so that you address the problem mm -hmm. yeah. we're the first to acknowledge mm -hmm. <coughs> just how overwhelmed <coughs> and perhaps unfacilitated the police services we acknowledge it every day here mm. i personally have many friends in the police force and i know how they live and it's something we never service, stop speaking service. about police service <coughs> police service mm. yes. my apologies yes. police service <laughs> The age comes into these things. It was just police force for so long. This no. this thing hasn't quite sunk. Mm. But what I'm saying is, when I gave that example, I was simply saying <coughs> there are creative ways of ensuring that the law is obeyed <coughs> and that people do their bit. <coughs> because usually when you are stopped for speeding, you were speeding. <coughs> no doubt about it yes every once in a while you may not have been but you were speeding mm. yeah and most times when you're stopped and there's something wrong with your car there is something wrong with your car mm. okay but as you say we don't want to admit mm. okay essentially we're saying okay there's something wrong with my car so what mm. see so now let me go and drive out yes, of exactly way. now this attitude that we speak of and as you correctly put it, it is deeply entrenched mm. but it does not mean it cannot go away it can mm. go away the reason why I will go back to the police service is because you have the mandate, the responsibility, and the ability. Mm. You actually are in a position to begin the process of halting it. You actually mm. do. Mm. Imagine a situation where the police refuse to take a bribe. Mm. Just say, no, no, no. 
Ndugu, yeah. pole. This is the mistake. Mm. This is what you're supposed to do. Mm. If you need time, we'll give you time. Yeah. But this is what you are going to you do. You must go to court. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, very politely. Mm. There's no, sorry, Ndugu, this is the mm. law. Mm. Mm. Now, can you imagine the ripple effect of that? Yeah. So that you know it, it will not be accepted. And in fact, okay. you'll be told, the only thing I'm doing is I'm not <coughs> charging you because you're actually committing offense by offering me this. Mm. But I'm telling you, you have to wake a candle. This is what you're supposed to do, and you're going to do it now. Mm. I can't do that for myself. Somebody has to do it. And that somebody happens to be the people in the police service. Mm -hmm. Yes. Automatically, people realize this isn't going to flow. Mm. 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 Somebody is so drunk they can barely stand, mm. and they're driving the car. Now, that person ought to be taken into sober up because yeah. they, 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 oh, yeah. they are going to cause a problem. Yeah. Mm. But we still allow them to go mm. because they have just enough clarity to realize i'm in trouble here mm. and perhaps if i uh, really talk nicely mm. uh, now all i'm saying is mm. when we carry out our duties as we should mm -hmm. then this problem that has we've been thus for the longest time immediately begins to reduce yes because there's clarity and you know now i'm <coughs> saying this because i lived in a time when i was a child but i was a child at some point huh? <laughs> yes <laughs> i know it's difficult to imagine but i was <laughs> it was not possible for you to actually bribe a policeman yes mm -hmm. it was all policewoman you you, you could not mm. you would actually be told very politely look you mm. uh, <laughs> just le let's go to the police station and, yeah. because you've committed an offense mm -hmm. what stops us from going back there uh, it is possible it is doable and uh, we must accept that uh, corruption is a societal yes, problem it is. it is these police officers are a, a reflection of the society they because are. they come from where from the society yes, they, they are, are part of the society mm. and it is the the, uh, the public that sometimes even tempt the police to take a bribe mm. and uh, it is an offense for you to give a bribe or to receive a bribe right. so if we as kenyans decide that we are going to follow the law we are not going to offer a bribe to a police officer we are going to address this uh, problem effectively mm -hmm. Well, Nagama, we're going into the festive. I mean, it has already started for lots of folks. I mean, from yesterday, from mm. people are driving all over the country, <coughs> all over the place. And I think it's interesting to hear from those who are essentially the vanguards of safety on the road, mm -hmm. uh, traffic police, to say, look, this is what we would like you to do. Mm -hmm. People are traveling. And we know public service vehicles, for example, that go long distances are trying to do back to back trips. Mm -hmm. Of course, for the commercial value, they're mm -hmm. trying to make as much as they can mm -hmm. and take advantage yes, of, yes. The, of the festivity. Mm -hmm. What would be your advice? What are we telling people mm -hmm. um, this season? I remember something that is very graphic in my head mm -hmm. that around this time mm -hmm. there used to be the it was not a caricature it was the actual mangled vehicle mm -hmm. that they would put yes. at certain points yes. uh, across and say you know speed kills arrive alive things like this mm -hmm. um maybe resonated with quite a number of people mm -hmm. but what are we asking people to do mm -hmm. at this time and mm -hmm. say guys please let's reduce this number mm -hmm. from 4000 let's mm -hmm. get it lower mm -hmm. what are we saying what you're saying is that instead of uh, having to drive very fast why not leave early why not leave a day earlier that's for those who will be using you know uh personal vehicles mm. because by the way most most accidents are attributed to drivers of personal vehicles mm. as opposed to psvs okay mm. yes m uh, personal vehicles uh, uh, are the leading cause of accidents in our roads mm. followed by motorcyclists then truck drivers mm. then matatus then psvs mm. come a distant fourth okay so as much as we are going to concentrate on psvs but le let's ensure that these uh, drivers of personal vehicles yeah. ensure live early mm -hmm. yes do uh, when you're driving do not be fatigued do not drink and drive you know the the, 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 the normal the normal regulations mm -hmm. as, po as for psvs i know the, for, for every business the, the the ultimate goal of every business is to maximize profits mm -hmm. but but let's have at the back of our minds that we are dealing with lives one life lost is one too many so let me do as much as possible let's let's make sure if you're doing an eight hour drive let's have uh, uh two drivers 
okay take some time and rest okay and and even as much as you're you're targeting profits and then when you're doing routes <coughs> make sure it's a route you're familiar with okay mm -hmm. Th this this also comes into play you're doing a route that you're not very familiar with and then maybe you're doing it at night yeah okay yeah. and let's let's observe speeds okay I, i'd rather i'd rather drive for 10 hours and arrive safe and alive mm -hmm. than do eight hours at the risk you might not cause an accident but at the risk of you know getting involved in an accident mm. let's look at the risk the enemy here is not the police on the road the enemy is the accident yeah losing lives that's the enemy and it's our joint enemy so let's be jointly and severally responsible for this mm. to ensure that everybody arrives alive motorcyclists ensure you wear a helmet mm. okay as a pedestrian when you're walking on the road ensure that you you wear bright colored clothes <coughs> yes it's our joint responsibility for every one of us to ensure we do our best so that we do not lose any lives you put it very well peter a question there seems to be selective enforcement of the law mm -hmm. on motorcyclists border border mm -hmm. and vips mm -hmm. it's a question that's coming how mm -hmm. do you respond to that expound father no, VIPs I'll, I'll, will be on the wrong side of the law oh, oh, they'll be allowed to go uh, uh, okay all right yeah, true <laughs> border <laughs> borders will <laughs> not be disobey traffic, traffic lights, lights everything yeah. and the police are there watching mm. they will carry 17 passengers <coughs> billion passengers mm. Mm. sofa set a cow <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes it, 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 it's it's too. not uh it's just that you will ne necessarily notice those ones mm. the, the, the the vips how many vips will be using the road and maybe break the law in every certain road i mean for every one vip for, for, using for, the road and breaking the law is one vip is one vip many. and i agree <laughs> they I agree. are already setting the example, <laughs> the example. of obeying yes. the law Ex I, and i agree with you mm. so i will urge i will urge vips to also leave early mm. that's number one number two if you are a traffic police officer the law applies to all vip and all the law applies to all of course and and of course there are certain instances like we we, we will not expect the president to sit on the on traffic okay so those arrangements there will be those special arrangements just wait just wait just wait so uh -huh. the, the, so uh -huh. the, there are those special instances but they are isolated cases mm. for motorcyclists yes it's uh dealing with motorcyclists there, there are class of 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 road users who need special attention mm. and we put in measures if in fact when you go to motorcyclists they'll complain that you are arresting too many of us mm. Mm. there are certain measures that we put in place i'm not going to expose all of them some mm. of them are being arrested by by not necessarily by police officers who are not necessarily in uniform right but we are dealing with them mm. and and they are they they are they are they are they are the second leading number of fatalities motorcyclists mm. so we have put in place measures to deal with them but number one is we are educating them telling them that your life is more important indeed yes indeed. and we actually saw that um, we've seen various fora organized by the police department mm. by the ministry of interior to bring in the border borders mm. to organize them into circles and all that, which is a good good step asante nisana for joining us come again before christmas issue let's have another conversation yes it's important mm. to keep talking, talking. and talking Absolutely. and talking yes thank you mary wango yomari yes. is the traffic commandant and peter odiembo is the in charge of road safety at the traffic police department thank you for tuning in to kenya's biggest conversation today